Welcome back. Local letterpress designer Daniel Swartz from Hoosier Type Company is here to teach us how he creates this beautiful one-of-a-kind artwork. Daniel, thank you for being here. Yeah, Welcome to the show. You bet, yeah. Yeah, tell us about your company. Sure, so letterpress printing and design is this really historic, kind of antiquated process that has fallen out of favor because of digital stuff. But I like it because it makes something unique, something different. Um, you can't get prints like this with new right. technology, yeah. right? Because with this, you're physically working with blocks and ink and you get that layering effect. Mm. You get impressions on the paper. And the best part is when the type gets old, it brings out texture. Oh, like okay. you can even see like wood grain on some of the prints from wow. the way that the ink sets on it and comes off the paper. Yeah. And so every piece is, you know, a little bit unique, a little yeah. bit different. Yeah. yeah. And I like that. It's what kind of wood are you using uh, when you're creating your art? Well, most of the time what I'm using is old stuff. A lot of it's cut yeah. from maple. It's like okay. original stuff that was, you know, even made in the early uh, 20th century. Um, and so a lot of that I've collected. Some of it is cut new. There's still a couple shops out there that make new printable objects. But if I run into a situation where I don't have something, so up here I just finished this new uh, Valentine set. Oh, that's I didn't cool. have the arrow and the ampersand and I couldn't find them anywhere else. Okay. So I will design them digitally, trace them, transfer them, and I hand carve them wow. out from the block and make something. Else. So if you don't have a block, you just make one. I do. That's yeah. so cool. That's this yeah. is such a personal gift, yeah. I can only imagine. And yeah. what did you bring with you today? Walk us through some of the things that you create. Sure, so um, this is, so I love type, I love fonts, right? So this is a, a type uh, specimen of the font Aldine, which I thought was really cool. Okay. That's Kids rooms, cool. but also designers, yeah. right? Yeah, a little alphabet there, I love that. Yeah. I do a fair amount of like um, creative person and artist inspiration prints and yes you can is one of them I have other for art classrooms um, that happen a lot this is my new Valentine set right here there's five prints <laughs> my type <laughs> <laughs> you got to squeeze it in there right Literal. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I kind of tapped into those early uh, those 80s memories of what design looked That's like in those cool. old yeah. classroom decor and the old you know the cards we used to buy for folks and that kind of thing. it's absolutely beautiful what you're doing and you can Thank tell you. so much time and thought and creativity goes into it uh, I know you have like series of prints that mm -hmm. people can get so you know yeah. it's like one of a kind mm -hmm. um, if people want to follow along with you and, and maybe buy one of your pieces, where should they follow you and talk to us about that promo that you have? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram, hoosiertype.co and Facebook as well. Um, on Instagram, there's a lot more stories stuff going on, so I show a lot more process and behind the scenes and how all this works. Uh, and then I have an online shop on Etsy where people that aren't close to me can buy stuff. That's great. And we have a promo code from now through January 31st. Thank okay. you. For you guys. So yeah. if you put in Fox 59 Who's Your Type at checkout, you'll get 15% off. Man, I, I can uh. only imagine that, I mean, your house is dying for this kind of art on the Seriously. wall. It's absolutely beautiful and it's local and it's handmade. Yeah, Daniel. our Valentine's gift, yeah. Daniel. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. Great Those stuff. Really cool. Love so it. unique. Appreciate you got the information right there? Jill, let's go uh, close the show with some let's mini now pop it. quiz. Daniel, thanks so <laughs> Thank much, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, we do want to take a moment to thank our sponsored guests who helped make this show possible. We have Rejoice Financial, Scandinavian Designs for our beautiful couch, and Sundown Gardens for our Indiana backyard. And another thank you to the rest of our wonderful guests today. Let's play the pop quiz. Let's Producer Abby's going to read the questions. Play along with us at home. Here we go. Question number one. What is the name of the artist who sang Chandelier? Oh. Uh, that's Sia. Correct. Got to be a little quicker there, Joe. I don't want to get my hand pinched down here. Yeah. Okay, one to zero. Okay, one to zero. Where is the hit TV show Sex in the City set? Ah. New York. Correct. Yeah. Have you seen all of those? I actually have. I didn't see it in real time, but I watched it later, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah, I've yeah, seen them yeah. through osmosis. Honestly, through it was Warren. before its time. It really okay. was. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Okay, go ahead. What boy band was Harry Styles a part of? One Direction. Correct. Back to the Sex and the City thing. Who's your favorite character <gasps> the, the, of the four females? Uh, I want to be basic and just say Carrie. Okay, I I'm, a, be I'm basic. a Charlotte girl. You're okay. a Charlotte yeah, yeah, girl? Yeah, no, you're Charlotte. not. Yeah, I like no, Charlotte. you're not. I like Charlotte. All right, all right, let's go. Here we go. Which Kardashian did Chris Humphreys date? Uh, Kim. Correct. Yes. All right, there we go. Uh, we would have also accepted no one cares. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Last one. Which tech entrepreneur named his son X A E A Elon Musk. Correct. You can't say it if I buzz in. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>